What's up, guys? Josh here. I'm actually here in Houston, Texas. Just flew in from LA yesterday. Next week, I'm going to actually be in Brisbane, Australia. When I'm over in Australia, I want to do some kind of cool creative meetup at some point. Details on my Instagram regarding that. But I want to shout out Aperture Lighting. They sent me this really cool LED light panel. It's incredible. I've actually been using it to light the last three of my videos. You should buy all their stuff. They're an incredible company. I love it. Now check out this sick video. How's it going guys, Josh here. So every year Adobe puts on this conference called Adobe Max. It's at Max that they discuss upcoming software updates that are often at the cutting edge of technology. It's one of the largest creative conferences in the world and this year was actually pretty incredible. One of the many sneak peeks revealed was this new technology called Project Cloak. It literally allows you to remove objects out of a scene just by drawing a mask around it. The previously unseen background behind the object that was taken out is replaced by pixels from elsewhere in the footage when that background was not covered. Now let's think of the possibilities. Let's say you want to remove traffic from a crowded freeway, an embarrassing tattoo from an actor's face, a logo from clothing, a modern building from a skyline for a period piece, a Canadian flag in Vancouver when location doubling for the American Pacific Northwest. The possibilities are limitless. Now let's pause. Is this supposed new technology new across the board or just new with Adobe? Adobe's definitely touting it as new across the board, but a simple recollection to years past will remind you of Mocha's infamous object removal tool. In fact, check out the seven-year-old tutorial video of this tool. At first glance, it seems like Adobe might be trying to secretly take over any kind of market dominance that Mocha might have had in the area of object removal. Now, here's why Adobe Cloak could possibly, an emphasis on possibly, be an actual step up from Mocha's object removal tool. Number one, in Mocha you have to both mask out the object that you want to remove as well as the background behind it. Now, if the background involved two planes, like the ground and the side of a building, both of those planes had to be tracked separately. Both of those background planes would then need to be linked up after the fact via the linking button. Only after that could the object actually be removed. In order to optimize the Mocha object removal process, there were several other steps that sometimes were required. From setting up the project frame range, to configuring illumination settings, to providing clean plates. According to Adobe Max, all of this prep may be done away with with the advent of Adobe Cloak. All of the presenters did was actually just draw a mask around the object, leaving the background alone, and the object disappeared. And all that previously talked about optimization seemed to just be automated. Number two, it's possible that newer technology might allow Project Cloak to cut down on the vast amount of time it takes sometimes to render out objects from longer pieces of footage. Number three, it's possible that newer technology might actually allow Project Cloak to remove objects with greater accuracy. I'm really curious about this assertion, however, because at the present time, Mocha actually does motion tracking a lot better than After Effects. Number four, one of the biggest pulls that Adobe would have would be pricing. It's my assumption that Adobe's gonna integrate Project Cloak as a free add-on into After Effects. And now, right now, the alternative, Mocha Pro, is about $700 to buy. And lastly, Adobe's Project Cloak would allow for just a simpler overall workflow. Users would no longer have to exit After Effects and jump into a third-party software to perform object removals. Right now, the jury's still out as far as Project Cloak goes. What we do know, though, is competition between Mocha and Adobe will just lead to a better product in the end at a cheaper price. So let the games begin. Thanks for watching guys and I'd like you to leave in the comments below your opinion regarding how revolutionary you think Project Cloak's gonna be. Remember to keep it chill and I'll see you next time. Add your name and place of residence to my latest Instagram post and I promise to give your Instagram page a little peek. Thanks for watching.